Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Captain Chang Plays. We are still in cold waters, and today I've decided to do a demonstration video because apparently there are a few folks that still don't understand this game, and, or at least don't understand the new additions uh, added to it with Dot Mod. So today I will set up uh, a scenario where I'm going to teach you how to use the multi-mode missiles of, say, a Ticonderoga class uh, cruiser. I'm setting up a destroyer here, a Soviet destroyer. This is a DD, a Kotlin. It only has cannons, so it will not be shooting any missiles at us. And obviously this is going to be a clobbering, but this is just to make a point. Let's go ahead and pick the ship. I guess I could have picked some other ship, but uh, as I said, we're here to make a point. Here's a Ticonderoga, Ticonderoga class cruiser. I can just repeat myself properly. All right. Accept. Then since the uh, third, uh, let's see, the third uh, Titan the World I ever built. Right. We have uh, Rim 66 C's loaded and some uh, ass rocks and some side torpedoes. This one does not have any uh, RIM 166s because this is the year 1984. Uh, the 166s, the SM2s, did not come out until uh, uh, 1990s uh, for the year 2000. So, but the mode is the same. So we are going to. Okay, we got the plenty of RIM 66Cs. Okay, battle stations. As you can see, this is a Vincennes class, this is a USS Vincennes, Tagon Roga class cruiser. It has a heli deck. Uh, okay, I think this is, uh, let's see, front gun, rear gun, this has the twin launcher, not the VOS. And as you can see here, uh, this is the helicopter controls, and this is the Nixie, this is the total array, this is the... Uh, okay, now... Let us load a standard missile, not the ASRAC, the standard missile. Now you will see uh, this icon right here. This is the weapon sensor right here, down at the lower right-hand corner. See it? Okay, I can switch modes. Right now it's a missile intercept mode. If I hit 1, which is the shortcut key, it changes to a helicopter icon, which means it's in anti-air mode. If we do this again, it goes to anti-ship mode. And now, back to missile. So you can toggle the different modes. Okay, it seems that we have a customer. Let us go ahead and turn on the radar. Uh huh. It's not within 20 miles. Interesting. All right, let's go meet our enemy. Con sonar. We are cavitating. That's all right. Doesn't matter. Obviously, we're going to need a target in order to uh, engage it with missiles, and then I'll just show you what happens to the missile if we don't uh, find a target. All right, we just found a target. This is the Soviet Kotlin class uh, destroyer. It's 74 kilometers away. That's a little far. Okay, let's uh, go meet him. We can shoot that far. 
You gotta be kidding me. You can't hit anything at that range. Really? You think you can hit me at that range? What, what's, what, what's he shooting at? Okay. What the heck is that thing engaging, then? If he's really like 71 kilometers away. Something's very wrong with this uh, range estimate. Really? This cannon can shoot that far? Okay, 22 kilometers. That's a little more like it. Okay, tell you what. We're going to stop right here because he's almost in gun range anyway. Let's go ahead and uh, get into 22.5. Let's go to... Uh... Okay. Now, now, as you can see, we're in air-to-air -air mode. We are going to launch this missile, and we're going to launch it toward this target. Watch what happens. Con maneuvering, making turns for five, uh, sorry, not. wrong one. Fire VLS. Okay, you see the missile launching. And uh, it has no idea. It's just, it's just going. But the activation point is somewhere over here. But as you can see, this missile is going toward that point, and then let's keep watching. Nothing happens. It's in anti. It's in anti-missile mode. And yes, that thing is shooting toward us. Now let's try a different mode, anti-air mode. Let's put it halfway, just in case there's any air targets over there, and as it, there really isn't. Watch the missile again. Watch the green dot. It's going, it's going, it's going. And as you can see, it just circles. Now let's switch it all the way to anti-ship mode. Fire. Fire. You'll notice that this now has a different icon. This now icon is now yellow. That means it's in anti-ship mode. In fact, there is a way to follow this along. Need a tiny little missile. And it's going straight in. So now that we have proven that the anti-ship mode does work. And just for the interest, of completion, let's go so turn on the gun. Apparently we don't have very view good view of the uh, very good contact on the gun on the enemy, even though we do have a 22 kilometer range. Okay, let's go ahead and turn it up. Let's get a little closer. We need a better apparently we need a better solution on this. Okay, now we got 95% solution. Cannon.
Let's turn the ship around. All right. Cannon one is firing. Let's expose both cannons. We are turning, so we are exposing both cannons. The rear cannon should be swinging into a uh, firing position in a moment. There it goes. And now you see both cannons are firing. I think we just got a hit. But you get the general idea. But uh, since the gun hits are going to be really slow, let's go ahead and shoot it with one more missile, just for the heck of it. You did see me switch to the anti-ship mode, right? As you can see, shooting something like this takes a long time. Alright, the it has locked on. And that's the end of the codlin. Well, we could hold fire, but uh, it doesn't really matter. These shells are already uh, in the air as it went in. And there goes the Kotlin. So to summarize, when you load a missile, you can change the firing modes. So again, anti-missile mode, anti-air mode, anti-ship mode and then you swap back uh, the seeker size and the everything else doesn't really matter for uh, the uh, standard missile although if, if you're wondering on some missiles you can adjust the seeker mode like if you want a narrow cone seeker or a wide cone seeker this basically tells how far to the side for the missile to look for a new target once it has reached the enable point. If you tell it to look for a Y cone, then it will look all along that arc in front of it for another target. And it will go for the nearest one. And if you do a narrow cone, then it's only to going to look at that specific area. This is more useful when you need a very specific target killed. And not just everything within that general area. Uh, the harpoon, which is the UGM-84, only has one mode, anti-ship, so this cannot be changed. Uh, as for this button right here, that little arrow, uh, right hand of arrow, if you click it, it toggles between downward, uh, down to down and right arrow versus a flat right arrow. The flat right arrow means sea skimming. This missile will just go in straight at the wave top skimming level. And this delivers damage to the ship's waterline. Whereas the pop-up, for the final mile or so, it will fly up, out to the side, 
and then fly inward and then make a dive like a dive bomber. This actually gives the uh, enemy a lot more chance to shoot it down if they have uh, weapons that are capable of engaging this. So this is not recommended unless you're firing this in pairs. One with a pop-up and one is as a sea skimmer. If you fire a pop-up and a sea skimmer together, the interior, the automatic defense system will shoot at the pop-up because it's a more prominent target and probably let the sea skimmer through. Probably being the operative word. Because a ship always can always shoot some chaff, which is this button right here, a little lower, next to the masts. Chaff will distract any anti-ship missile, up to a point. It may or may not work. If you fire too early, it may uh, it uh, it will dissipate before the missile get here. If you fire too late, it doesn't protect you. So, firing at the right time. Is a matter of uh, good timing. Anyway, uh, that concludes this tutorial on Dot Mod's multi mode missiles. Uh, just as a clarification, this missile is also available for the Soviet side. Not this exact missile, but the operational mode is going to be exactly the same. And the button may just be over here instead of over here. Remember, this is 1984, before the VLS array and automatic engagements. All right. Thank you for watching. If you like uh, more content like this, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.